What is up and welcome to the last of the spry validation form input boxes and everything that has to do with forms tutorial. Um, hopefully you've been watching um, each of my tutorials and if you have been then you understand exactly how forms work. You understand each individual piece of forms and how to validate them. Uh, this tutorial is going to wrap up with the spry validation of a radio group. So to get started we click on a spry validation radio group over here to the left and you can see it pops up with some options for us to tell Dreamweaver exactly what we want to put inside of our radio group. And in this example um, we're gonna we're gonna create a radio group that has a list of different shipping companies. So USPS, USPS, FedEx, and UPS. And what what the uh, validation of a radio box is good for is a few different things. Uh, if you want to make sure that the user is inputting or is selecting a a choice that we have given them inside of our radio group so basically it's it's used to require that the user actually selects something that we have created inside of our radio group so now that we've done that you can see that it created our radio group for us I'm going to go here, click on page properties and say OK. And now we can see that inside of our properties tab we have the Spry radio group. And we don't have very many options here. This one is very similar to the Spry validation of a checkbox group. Um, we have the empty value and the invalid value, which basically says we can say that an empty value could be one that has a value of UPS even though that's not an empty value but I'm just going to show you that if you do type UPS inside of empty value then that's just saying that anything with the value UPS is considered empty and I'm going to say that FedEx is an invalid value just so we can be sure that these are actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to run it. And remember that this should not submit if empty value or invalid value is selected. So we have UPS and that doesn't count because it's an empty value. And then if we click FedEx, that doesn't count because that is an invalid value. So the only thing that is going to count here is USPS. So that's all there is to it for working with a span radio group usually you're not gonna I can't think of a case where you're gonna have a an empty or an invalid value because the things that you're creating are things that have to be selected so if you do need to to use an invalid or an empty value now you know how to um, but basically that is it for the radio group spry validation so in the next tutorial I'm going to basically do an overview of everything that I've talked about that has to deal with forms and spry validation I'm going to create an actual more a more of a usable form for grabbing data for signing up for a service and you will see how all of this ties together in a real workable form. So make sure you guys stay tuned and come back for the next tutorial. Make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you in the final forms tutorial.